Welcome back to P4G. And last time, you remember, we, um, we found ourselves in a strange-ass world, and, um, well, let's take a look at what we know already, okay? Do you feel sluggish? You should rest early today. We're gonna do that. Oh, man. That looks awkward as hell, don't it? Hmm? Oh, you're up. Well, I'm off. Dojima left. Dad has to go do something. He got a call, so he left. Hmm. Nanako looks worried. You can hear girls gossiping. When I looked, I saw three police cars zooming by. You live by the police station, don't you? Did you hear anything? I heard some yelling, but nothing more. A total disappointment. Jeez, you need to pay more attention to stuff like that. How else are we supposed to get the juicy stories? You hear signs nearby. It seems there's been an incident. You decide to head to school. Hey, did you see it yesterday? Of course not. What is that rumor for real? I don't know, but it seems like a lot of people have seen it. You overhear people gossiping about something. Yukiko said she'd be here after lunch. I wonder why they're holding a school assembly all of a sudden. Hey, what's wrong, Yosuke? Hmm? Oh. It's nothing. Everyone, please settle down. The school assembly is about to begin. First, the principal has something to say. I regret to say that I have a terrible announcement for all of you. One of our third year students, Ms. Saki Kunishi of class three, has passed away. You mean that was... Oh my god. Passed away? <sighs> Ms. Kunishi was found deceased early this morning. The cutscene. The reasons behind her passing are currently under investigation by the police. If they ask you for your cooperation, I urge you, as students of this school, to provide only the facts. Just the facts, ma'am. All right, please quiet down. I have been assured by the faculty that there's been no evidence that bullying was involved in the incident. Oh, well, that's good. So mind what you say, not only to the police, but to anyone who asks. Found dead? How could this happen? <sighs> the address continues. She died the same way as that announcer, right? It's so creepy. Well, last time it was from an antenna, but this time she was hanging from a telephone pole. It's gotta be a serial murder case. Someone said the cause of death was some unknown poison. Unknown? Come on, this isn't some sci-fi drama. But man, I will be watching if it was. Oh, by the way, did you hear? 
Someone saw a girl that looked like Saki on that midnight channel thingy. They said she totally looked like she was in pain. Isn't that scary? <laughs> Sounds like someone had a nightmare. Oh. Really? Sheesh. It's easy to toss around theories if you're not personally involved. Hey, did you guys check out the TV last night? Yosuke, not you too. Just listen for a sec. Something kept bothering me, so I watched it again, and I think the girl on the screen was Saki-senpai. There's no mistaking it. Senpai looked like she was writhing in pain. I thought she was doing the Cowboy Bebop. And then she disappeared from the screen. What? You heard Senpai's body was found in a similar situation as that announcer's, right? Well, remember that guy you told us about? How he was all excited that his soulmate was the announcer? Maybe, just maybe, but <clears throat> Ms. Yamano might have been on that midnight channel before she died too. What's that supposed to mean? Hold on, are you saying... People who appear on that TV... die? I can't say for sure. But something tells me. I just can't dismiss it as coincidence. Who could? <gasps> Plus, remember what that bear thing said? How that place was dangerous and we should leave before the fog clears? It also said that someone's been throwing people in there. the posters on the wall. It has to have something to do with the announcer's death. I mean, don't you think there's some kind of connection there? Couldn't that world in the TV have something to do with Senpai and the announcer's death? Mm. Well, what do you think? So it's not just me, huh? Well, I mean, the way... The, the way I've seen the bias... Yeah... Something's been going on. If there is a connection, then it's a good bet that the two of them went inside that world. The bodies. That would explain the posters in that room. Which means... If we look around, we might find a place that has something to do with Senpai, too. Yosuke, don't tell me. Yeah. I'm thinking about going in again. I want to find out for myself. D don't do this. You should just let the police handle this and... The police can't do jack shit about this. You think we can rely on the police? They haven't made any progress on the announcer's case. Besides, even if we told them about the world inside the TV, there's no way they're going to believe us. If I'm completely off base with this, that's fine. It's just... I need to know why Senpai had to die like this. Yosuke. After what I've seen and what I've put together, there's no way I can ignore it now. Sorry, but you're the only person who can help me. I'm gonna go get ready. I'll be waiting for you at Juness. Yosuke has asked you to take him into the TV world again. I can kind of understand how he feels. But we can't be sure we'll be able to get out safely again. What should we do? Look. I understand what you're saying. Let's go 
to Jeunesse. We can't leave Yosuke alone. Mm. I mean, it's gonna happen anyways. Like, would you like to save your progress thus far? Yes. We came to stop you, idiot! Besides, that's not how it works if we're going to go in like that. Come on, you really shouldn't do this. It's too dangerous. I know, but we were able to come back once, right? If we go in from the same location, maybe we'll meet that bear again. Who's not... Maybe isn't good enough. Look, I can't just act like everyone else and pretend this has nothing to do with it. Don Quixote or Juness, you make the you make the call. That's true, but what about you? Could you just walk away? Don't worry about Che. There's no telling what, what may happen over there. You voice your concern over Che coming along. My understanding has increased. Yeah, it'll be just you and me. Don't worry, I'm not going in without a plan. Che? I'm leaving you in charge of this. Huh? What's that? A rope? We'll go in with this tied to me. So I want you to hold on to this and wait here. Wh what? Then this is a lifeline? Come on, wait a sec. Here. Go. This is for you. Mm -hmm. A golf club. Yeah, it's a whip. And three minutes. I thought it might be better than going in empty handed. <laughs> Alright, let's go. There's no use wasting any more time. Gee, whatever you do, don't let go of the rope. Makes sense. <gasps> See, I knew this wasn't going to work. Now, what? You wait. same place as last time so they are connected from place to place you guys why'd you come back i get it you're the ones behind this behind what what we do you're that thing from last time wait what the hell did you just say Lately, I can tell someone's been throwing people in here. It's making this world more and more messed up. This is the second time you guys came here, and I don't think anyone forced you in. That means you're the most suspicious. You guys must be the ones throwing the people in here.
Hell no. What are you talking about throwing people in? If someone was thrown in here and they couldn't get out, they might die. Who would do such a... Wait a sec. All this talk about someone throwing people in here. Does he mean Senpai and the announcer? Did that someone throw those two in here? Hey, what do you think? That must be it. Yeah, I agree. Let's assume he's telling the truth. Could it be that someone's throwing people in here, intending to kill them? This sounds so much like Don Garofi. I believe it. If that's the case... What are you guys mumbling about? Why'd you come here anyways? It's a one-way door! You can't get out once you're in! Whoa! Remember how I had to let you guys out? Yeah, whatever. We don't need your help this time. See? This time we have a lifeline. You had a lifeline. What? Hey! You better let us out once we're done investigating here. I'm the one who wants to investigate. I've lived here for a long time, but it's never been noisy like this till now. Do you have proof? Prove to me you're not throwing people in here. <sighs> Proof. See? So it is you guys. The last time, it's not us. So we've got nothing to prove to you. Hey, you better answer our questions. This isn't like last time when we came by accident. We're dead serious. Listen up, because people have died in our world. Every time the fog appears, a dead body shows up with it. It has to be related to this place somehow. If you know something, tell us. A dead body? Whenever the fog appears? Yes. I know that if it's foggy on your side, the fog lifts here. Mm -hmm. It's really dangerous when the fog lifts. That's when the shadows get violent. Get it? Huh? Well, if you get it, then explain it to us, damn it! If it's foggy on our side, it isn't in here. Shadows get violent. That's why I said to hurry back. It's dangerous when that happens. Okay, no more questions. I know you guys did it. You better stop right now! I told you and told you we're not the ones doing it. I've about had it with you. Why the hell won't you listen to what we're saying? I'm just saying, you might be the culprits. Pac-Man, do we look like culprits to you? Uh, I'm just making sure. Making sure. What? Man, this bear is driving me nuts. What is this place anyways? It looks like a TV studio. Is something being filmed here? Hey, hey, don't tell me. Is that weird show being filmed here? Weird show? Filmed? What does that mean? Uh, I'm asking if someone's been filming the people that get thrown in here. Eh? I don't get it. This world has always been like this. No one has ever done that filming thing here. It's always been like this? Only me and Shadows are here. I told you before. Look, we don't know what these shadow things are, or what you are either, for that matter. You keep telling us to prove our innocence, but you're the most suspicious thing here. He's got a point, Pac-Man. You are the most suspicious thing here. Excuse me, excuse me, on. Maybe you're the real culprit. And what's with that stupid costume? I'd say it's time you showed your face. Don't tell me that's your face.
<laughs> That's his face. Okay. Okay. Put his head back on. Put his head back on right now. What the hell are you? It's empty inside. Me? The culprit? I wouldn't do such a thing. You're too trusting and too weird. I just live here. I just want to live here peacefully. Okay. I'll believe that you guys aren't the culprits. Thank you. But I want you to find the real guy who did all this. You have to stop him. Promise me. Or else... I'm not gonna let you guys out of here. What? You little... Shit. This can't keep going on. My home here will be a complete mess. And then... And then... I... <laughs> are you serious? What are you crying for all of a sudden? Jeez, this thing's really weirding me out. The mysterious bear is asking you to find the culprit behind this. Someone on the outside is throwing people into this world. If the, if the culprit isn't you, he wants you to find the real culprit. The mysterious bear seems serious about this. Hey, what should we do? You remember the words of the mysterious old man who called himself Igor? It says you will encounter a misfortune at your destination, and a great mystery will be imposed upon you. Could this be the mystery that will be thrust upon you? What was the contract Igor spoke of? Could finding the culprit and solving the case be part of this promise? In any case, since you cannot leave the TV world on your own, there seems to be no other option. You're the only ones I can ask. Will you promise me? <sighs> Got no promise. But no choice. Thank you! Damn bear. Practically holding a gun to our heads. Don't tempt him. But it's true that we came here to figure things out. So far, we're completely in the dark. Look for the culprit, huh? Bring it on. You got my word, too. Might as well introduce ourselves. I'm Yosuke Hanamura, and this is my buddy. Go, Nagai. You got a name? Teddy. Bear. Figures. But how are we supposed to find the culprit in the first place? I don't know. Oh, but I know where the last person came in. The last person? You mean Saki-senpai? I mean the person who came in and disappeared last time. I don't know the name. I'll take you there. You might find clues. Oh, one thing first. You two should put fees on. Ultraman glasses? glasses for? We're wearing Ultraman glasses. As you put on the glasses, your vision instantly becomes much clearer. Just like me wearing my actual glasses. Whoa! The difference is like night and day. With these on, it's like the fog doesn't exist. You're wearing blue blockers. You're filled with determination. They'll help you walk through the fog. Well, I've been here for a long time, so you can rely on me. Uh, but I can only show you where the place is. You guys will have to defend yourselves. What happened to relying on you? There better not be any monsters, you understand? I got a golf club, we're good. We brought weapons, but I mean, you're more for show. We just got here. If it's so dangerous, why don't you do something instead of relying on us? because the game wouldn't have it any other way but to rely on us. Uh-uh. No way. I've got no muscles. Only fat. Oh, oh, I'll give you guys moral support from a safe distance. 
If that means you'll heal us every battle, we'll accept. How's that sound? Can Teddy really not fight? Real. He really can't do anything. It's just like, let me just touch. Uh, this is so lame. We swore to find the culprit, and this is all the backup we get? Um, yeah, Parasol. Oh, yeah. Can I ask you something? Who's this Saki Senpai person? Someone you know? That doesn't matter right now. Anyways, at least now we know Senpai might have been thrown in here. Maybe we can find more information too. Let's get moving. Yep. What? Wait! Oh, right. Let's get you up. <laughs> what is this place? It looks just like the shopping district. It looks like Persona 3. What's going on here? It's just like Persona 3. Some weird places have appeared here recently. Things are getting so tangled, I, I don't know what to do. Uh, by the way, why are you standing so far from us? Do we smell funny to you? You better not be planning to hightail it if something does come up. not that face says otherwise I mean um, I can't stand too close you know I get in your way <sighs> mm. man they really went all out on this but out of all the places in town why'd they replicate this one why not how should I know this is reality for the one who's here it's true. As usual, nothing you say makes any sense. See, church. Nothing they say makes any sense. But if this is our shopping district, we're not far from Saki Senpai's. I knew it! This is the liquor store that Senpai's parents run. Does this mean Senpai disappeared here? What could have happened? Wait a second! They're here! What? Shadows! I had a feeling they were going to attack! Shadows have weaknesses. 
If you can pinpoint that weakness and take advantage of it, the battle will be a lot easier. I can tell this one has a weakness too. Try stuff out and see what works. That's pretty much what you have to do in every RPG. When you use an attack the enemy is weak against, it'll be knocked down. Compared to other attacks, attacking the enemy's weakness does more damage. If you knock down all enemies, you'll get a Mo Ichido attack. One more. Use your weapons and skills to strike enemy weaknesses and get Mo Ichido attacks to get the advantage in battle. However, if the attacks if the enemy attacks your weaknesses, they get extra attacks too. So always keep your enemy's weaknesses in your own in mind. I'll keep track of what attacks have what effects on enemies. You can check known information about the enemy with the analysis command, or by pressing the analyze button. Four, bitches. Level up. The other self. Go Nagai has faced his other self, known only as Mazinger Z. He has overcome the facade used to overcome life's hardships. The persona, Izanagi. Whoa, what was that? Did I hear you say persona? What was it? My alter ego. I mean, what did you do? Hey, you think I can do it too? Calm huh? down, Yosuke. You're troubling Sensei. Sensei? Gosh almighty, you're amazing, Sensei. I am one impressed bear. I just said Persona, and all of a sudden, poof! Alter Ego came out. I can't believe you were hiding such an amazing power. No wonder the shadows were scared of you. <gasps> Are you the one who's able to bring people into this world? I guess. And that's what I thought. This is really something. I am gonna die after all. I do bring people into this world. No, actually, I'm really Ichigo Musko. I bring people into this world. For I am thou, and thou art I. Don't you think so, Yosuke? Just go with it. Dude. You call him sensei and then don't show me any respect? Sorry. Well, your support wasn't bad, though. I gotta give you some credit for that. Huh? Really? <laughs> All right. You two keep it up and I think we'll be fine from here on out. Now let's get back to the investigation. Mm -hmm. I wonder what could have happened to Senpai here. Hmm. Voices begin to echo from somewhere. Ugh, I wish Jonas would go under. It's all because of that store. What the? Uh, I heard that Kurushi san's daughter is working there. Oh my, how could she with her family's business suffering like it is? I heard their sales have gone downhill because of Juness. Stop it. That poor father. To have his own daughter working for the enemy. What a troublesome child. Hey, hey, Ted. 
You said that this place is reality for those that are here, right? So, does that mean this was Senpai's reality when she wandered in here? I only know about what's over here. Fine. Whatever's going on here, we'll find out ourselves. Again. We began to hear a man yelling. Saki, how many times do I have to tell you? Is this Senpai's dad? You know what the neighbors say about you, right? Aren't you ashamed of yourself? You're the eldest daughter of a family who's owned this store for generations. Is it the money? Or did you meet some guy there? Just tell me why you have to work there of all places. I can't believe this. She seemed like she had fun at work. She never said anything like this to me. The look on her face says she was troubled. You're telling me this was how Senpai really saw things? These photos. Hey, is this... It's the photo we took the other day with the other part-timers at Juness. Why is it cut up like this? The scrap of the photo shows Saki smiling. Yosuke standing next to her. I never had the chance to say it. Is that Senpai's voice? I always wanted to tell Hana-chan. Huh? Me? Daddy was a real pain in the ass. I was nice to him just because he was the store manager's son. That's all. But he takes it completely the wrong way and gets all enthusiastic. What a dick. The pain in the ass? Who cares about Juness anyway? Because of that store, our business is ruined. My parents hate me. The neighbors talk behind my back. I wish everything would just disappear. It's a lie. This can't be. Senpai's not like that. It's so sad. I feel so sorry for myself. Boo! The hell? Actually, I'm the one who thinks everything's a pain in the ass. <laughs> uh huh? Two Yosuke's? Who are you? I, I wouldn't think that. <laughs> yeah, right. How long are you going to keep deluding yourself? Screw the shopping district and Juness, too. You're sick of everything. Especially living out in the sticks. What are you saying? Th that's not true. I. You put on a good show of being carefree and happy go lucky because you're so terrified of being alone. The more the merrier, right? You gotta be surrounded by people to block out the pain of isolation. Then what's this about checking out this world for Saki Senpai's sake? Ha! I know the real reason you came snooping. Stop it! <laughs> Why so panicked? I thought I was just spouting bullshit. Or maybe I do know everything you're thinking. Why's that? Because I am you. You just came because you thought it sounded like a good time. What else is there to do out in this shithole? The world inside the TV. Now that's exciting. You didn't have a single other reason for coming here, did you? It's not true. Stop. Stop it. You're just trying to act like a big shot. If all went well, hey, maybe you could even be a hero. And that senpai you were so sweet on, her death was the perfect excuse. That's not true! What are you? Who are you? 
<laughs> I already told you. The dark side. I'm you. Your shadow. There's nothing I don't know about you. Screw that. I don't know you. I don't know you. You can't be me, you son of a bitch! <laughs> That's right! Say it again! You're not me! You're nothing like me! Yeah, that's right. I am me now. I'm not you anymore, see? I feel the same way, except I feel like I want to crush you because you bore me. Starting with you. Moichiro. How long can you survive this? This one's much stronger than the last type. Be careful! Whenever you feel threatened, just defend yourself. During battle, you can choose to defend yourself rather than attacking enemies. Select guard from the battle menu to decrease the damage you receive. While defending attacks to your weakness, other status and helmet attacks can be blocked. If it looks like the enemy is about to let loose with this devastating attack, or about to hit your weakness, be sure to guard. So be careful for you. We'll leave the defense stand after being one hit once. Yikes! This is one tough enemy! Well, at least now it's not like Persona 3 in which you have to wait a turn. It's like, oh, no. I found your weakness, you bitch! Persona! That's fine, you can hit me, but I hit harder. Ikazuchi! Something inside you has changed. 
He's an Agi Levels. Magic up. Agility up. Berserk again. Just say you are thou. Go from there. He seems reluctant to accept it, but that thing is thou, and, and thou are you. You're still yourself. You just have to be brave. Brave. Damn it. Hurts to face yourself. I had to face myself every day. I knew it wasn't lying. But I was so ashamed that I didn't want to admit it. You're me, and I'm you. When you get down to it, all of this is me. For I am thou, thou art I. The strength of heart required to face oneself has been made manifest. Yosuke has faced his other self. He's obtained the facade used to overcome life's hardship. Jiraiya! This is my persona. When we heard Senpai's voice, I wonder if that was something Senpai had been keeping deep down inside. He was a real pain in the ass, huh? What a way to find out. Jeez, this is so embarrassing. <laughs> if you weren't here, I don't know what would have happened. Thanks. <laughs> hey, Teddy. Could Senpai have been attacked by her other self here? Like how it just happened to me? I think so. The shadows here were originally born from humans. Of course. Sometimes the fog clears, then they all go berserk. They start drinking. And you saw what happens next. A strong-willed shadow draws others to it, and a big mass of shadows kills the host. So that's why people die when it gets foggy in our world. Yosuke's pretty worn out. This world isn't made for humans. It's not comfortable for you here. I don't hear any more voices. I think we're done with this place. Let's go back. Hey, Teddy. You said that this place is reality for people who enter, right? So that shopping district and the weird room we saw before? Did they exist because the ones who died entered this world and it became their reality? I guess what I'm trying to ask is, did those places form because of the people who entered this world? I don't know. It's never happened before. But that's probably where they were when the shadows attacked them. Same for them. 
The fog does lift here sometimes. The shadows get really violent then. I always get so scared I have to hide when it happens. I sensed people here twice before, but both of them disappeared after the fog lifted. So let's get this straight. Senpai and that Yamano lady were thrown in here, and since they couldn't get out, they wandered around. After a while, that shadow thing came out of them. The fog cleared, it went berserk, and it ended up killing them. Does that sound right? So if I'd been here until the fog cleared, I would have been in much deeper trouble? Yeah, I'm pretty sure. You were lucky. Sensei and me were here with you. Damn it. Senpai and that announcer, they were stuck here all alone. No one could save them. How could they be saved? Miyosuke. They disappeared when the fog lifted, but they were safe before that. No shadows attacked them. They attacked us, though. Maybe they're keeping a close eye on us. They might see people who investigate this place as enemies. It'll be dangerous, but we might be able to fight them. We might save people. Just like in three. Are you saying if anyone else gets thrown in here, we can save them before they disappear? Just like in three. Like how you guys just saved me? Seems to be the case. Anyways, we need to catch the one who's throwing people in here and make him stop. Yeah. I'm finally starting to understand what's going on. Um, can I ask something too? If shadows are born from humans, what was Teddy born from? You don't even know where you came from? How should we know? I know some things, mostly about this world, but I don't know anything about myself. To be honest, I never thought about it until now. Hmm. Are you serious? He's pretty damn serious. No wonder we couldn't get a straight answer out of you. Will you guys come back here? We made a promise. You'll keep your word? Well, you're the one who said you weren't letting us out unless we do. Oh, that's right. Okay, I'll let you out, but there's one thing. I'll be waiting for you guys here. You need to come in from the same place every time, so we can meet up. TV at Junas. You could come in from somewhere else, but then you won't end up here show up somewhere I couldn't get to you. Then you'd be doomed. Got it? Uh -huh. Well, pretty much. All right, can you show us the way out? Roger that. One exit coming right up. sure there aren't any employees milling around out there. Okay, go, go, go! <laughs> Squish! Uh, hey, stop squeezing, you little... Ugh! What's with that face? Ow! Oh, the nerve of you guys! Oh, you're such morons! I, I can't believe this! You guys suck! The rope got cut off! I had no idea what to do! 
that went well. I... I think that might have kind of sort of been our fault. Kind of, sort of. Maybe we did go a little too far. You think? Let's apologize to her tomorrow. Mm-hmm. I'm completely wiped out. I'm gonna go home, soak in the shower for a while, and get some sleep. I think... I'm gonna sleep well tonight. Hmm. Well, see you in the morning. Near the floodplain while walking home from Juness. Hmm? Oh, are you be surprised to see me dressed this way? My parents sent me out on an errand. Raining like this. Um, are you getting used to your new town and school? Hmm, somewhat. I'm glad to hear that. It must be difficult moving to a place you know nothing about. I've never been out of Inaba, so I wouldn't know what it's like to transfer to a new school. I've only visited places. Excuse me. Never done a full transfer. Oh, are you getting along with Chie? I mean, I always leave early, so... Um... <laughs> We're getting along. I'm glad to hear that. Chie is very supportive, you know? It's always her who gives me the little extra push I need. We had homeroom together last year, too, and I still remember how we'd cut class sometimes. Oh, I, I should get going. I need to make tomorrow's arrangements with our head chef. Our inn can't function without me right now. Mm-hmm. Um... I'll see you at school then. Yep. Dad's late. Uh huh. Our next story is an update in our ongoing report on the bizarre murders occurring in Inaba. At around 7 a.m., local high school student Saki Konishi was found dead in Inaba's residential area. Since the body was positioned similarly to the last victim, and since Miss Konishi was the one who discovered that body, police are proceeding under the assumption that this may be a serial murder case related to the death of Mayumi Yamano. The coroner's report has established Miss Konishi's time of death at around 1 a.m. last night. The body went unnoticed until this morning as a result of the heavy fog blanketing the area. Another incident. Dad won't be coming home tonight. Hmm. I'll be here with you. I'll be okay. Can you help me do some stuff around the house? She seems to be very reliable for her age. Amagi Inn located upstream of Samegawa River, is the town's oldest historical landmark. Vacationers are known to travel surprising distances in order to visit its open-air, radium-rich hot springs. After the incident with Miss Yamano, the manager has stepped aside, leaving her daughter Yukiko to fill her shoes. Hmm. Yukiko's on TV, wearing a kimono. In other words, she's a manager who's still in high school. God, you guys are so stupid. I realize that. Now that has a nice ring to it. Let's see if we can interview her. Excuse me! Hmm? Um, are you speaking to me? What? How in the world did they ever discover this guy to be a reporter? Is his name Jimmy Olsen? We've heard that you're the new manager. 
Is it true you're still in high school? Oh, well, I'm only filling in temporarily. Someday, though. That aside, wow, you're looking gorgeous in that kimono. You must have had a lot of male visitors. Oh, for fuck's sake. Can we please change the channel? Huh? No, um... Can we fire this dude? The reporter's rambling goes further and further off subject. This is boring. I agree. Oh, I need to do the dishes. Okay. You decided to help out with the housework. You can now check your status by pressing the command menu button. You may now quick you you that you may now create quick save data from the command menu. To continue playing from a quick save, select continue from the tile screen. The layout and progress of the current floor will be reset and you will start at the beginning of the floor. So that means now I get to see my status and everything. So my persona is Izanagi. And since we're working with Arcana, well, my affiliation is the Fool. So, unlike the unless unlike the third game, in which you saw me play previously, Four has a different. Um, setup as far as stats are concerned. So instead of three you have five, which is courage, diligence, understanding, expression, and knowledge. So as you can tell, they do move up. So from what we have, we have average for courage, callow for diligence, understanding is basic, our expression's rather rough, and we are aware as far as the knowledge is concerned. So, as you can tell, there are quests. And from, we, from what we can tell, there are 69 quests. Nice. So, as you can tell, our hero, Gonagai, is wearing a golf club as a weapon, t-shirt as his armor, for accessories, a wristwatch, and default clothing. As for Yosuke, he wields a monkey wrench, for armor's a long t-shirt, a plain ring for accessories, as well as default clothing. Because it isn't used very often, the kitchen's organized. If there were ingredients in the refrigerator, you might be able to make lunch. <coughs> Nothing catches your eye. So, after all this madness, I'm actually going to save here. And in the next part, we shall continue with the first week of a long and interesting week ahead of us. So with that said, I'll see you in the next part. 
when we continue week number one. So stay tuned more of Persona 4, The Golden, right after this. Thanks so much for watching.